move this up, it appears to match this seagull color here of orange. If I move it down the mural, it looks like it's changing colors to purple, but that's actually because on this seagull, we've got orange and little gradient of purple, and so it changes the color appearance of it based on the background that it's against. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, flying out of this illusion into the next. All right, so we've got three flavors of donuts in front of me. I've got white vanilla, got pink strawberry, and brown chocolate. But you might have already caught on that these flavors may not be as they seem. We've got the white vanilla, which is actually maple. Now let's reveal brown chocolate. This is actually a maple donut as well. But this third donut is really a surprise. The pink strawberry is actually, oh, that's also maple. Would you look at that? So we've got three of the same donuts, and this illusion is created by mostly this foreground object, which is one color, while the background object is also making an influence. What's also interesting about color is it can alter your mind's perception of the taste. So, pink strawberry. I really shouldn't, but I'm going to. Hmm. So for this next illusion, I've got a regular stoplight, and this is gonna demonstrate how important color is to be seen in context. So I've got a green, blue, and a red overlay, and here's what I want you to do. I want you to look at all the stoplight colors and tell me if you see any gray lights. Count them up, comment below how many you're guessing, and now I'm gonna reveal. So you can see the three gray stoplights there, but what's also fascinating is the light that's supposed to be yellow is actually green. This light is supposed to be red and it's actually purple. This one is supposed to be yellow, but it's orange. So it's pretty crazy how your mind uses the context for it to see the color. And if I pull up the color wheel here, blue is a complementary color to yellow. So your mind naturally fills in this gray colorless piece to be yellow. I wanna show you for our next illusion, a really sweet negative color trick. So let me invert this. The interesting thing about your vision is when you stare at an image long enough, you start to see what's called an after image, and it's kind of like a ghostly image of the one that you're staring at. And so what I want you to do for this next illusion, for you to experience that, is stare at the center dot. And you're gonna stare at the center dot for about 15 seconds. You're gonna wanna make sure your video is in full screen for this part. So stare at this marker in the center of the image and try not to blink. Okay, so you're staring, don't get distracted, and I'm gonna count down. I'm gonna count down from five, and when I get to one, I'm gonna snap and the image is gonna change. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Keep your eyes on the center dot, but have the colors in the image become more normal. Try moving your eyes around and you'll notice that the colors that you think you're seeing are actually not there. In fact, if you look around, everything is in grayscale. It's pretty wild how your brain can play such crazy mind tricks on you when in fact reality is much different. For this next illusion, I'm gonna to go to the computer because I'm gonna show you a little animation. First, let me turn it to color. So I want you to stare at the middle blue duck and don't look away from that middle duck. So at first you'll notice a gap moving along the arrangement of ducks. But right about now, you should be seeing a yellow duck start coming into view. Even though it's not there, your mind's filling in the blanks. And it becomes so vibrant that you can just reach out and oh, grab it. Oh, rubber ducky. Now, for this next illusion, we have to go into a world with just one color. Wow, so I am in a monochromatic room right now, which is really trippy because I actually look completely desaturated because of this special light, which is only emitting one wavelength, amber. And so it allows you to do some fun things when you take a regular flashlight and introduce light back into the room. For me, I can only see these as various grays or on the gray scale. But when I introduce light, you can see there, there really is color there on the shelf. So my next question is, what color is this painting to you? To me, I see a very dark gray, but when I shine a light, it reveals it's actually blue and we have the red logo. You can do some other fun painting tricks like this one. It, it just looks like a little tree scene with a cute little butterfly, but actually, with light, you see that's a chameleon about to eat the butterfly and a little friend butterfly there. My great grandfather passed on a painting portrait from the Western days and it was a- Good heavenly day, son, put that light out. 
Well, this has been the monochromatic room. I'm gonna go to another illusion now. So the really cool trick about colors is if you stare at them long enough, they can actually pull a trick on your eyes. Like this illusion here, if you're gonna stare at this center star, and by the way, this works better on a desktop or a larger tablet if you have one, but stare at this star and you may start noticing the word dream and the color start to fade away. But comment below if that worked for you. So I've got one more final illusion for you right over here, and this is a little seizure alert. If you are prone to seizures, do not watch this next part because it's gonna be a little animation that's flashy. But before we end this video, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and there's gonna be two videos over here and subscribe over here. But here is the next illusion. Follow the directions. So I want you to stare at this animation of the Z logo. Don't look away, okay, keep staring. Now in just a few seconds, I'm gonna cut to another image and you should see some crazy warping happening. Okay, so three, two, one.